394, the word count of my three-minute thesis. How did I manage to put three and a half years of work into such a short script? Well, apparently, I didn't say anything about the experiment that had failed, which was like three years of work. In 2013, I heard the news that Chris West, a colleague from the Scottish Centre for Regenerative Medicine, had won the university final. That was the first time I heard about this competition. I thought that one day I might enter it. And I'm so glad that I did, because my three-minute thesis experience was a turning point in my PhD. Before entering this competition, the question that I was most scared of was, what is your research about? Why is it important? I didn't know what to say, or maximum two to three sentences. And very often I heard people responding, hmm, your research sounds interesting. And I know it so well that interesting is a word that people often use when they don't know how to continue this conversation. <laughs> By preparing my three minute thesis, I challenged myself to come up with ideas about how to explain terms that may be so familiar to me, but may not make any sense to others. It also forced me to take one step back from my daily detailed experiments to look at the big picture. Now I so much enjoy discussing my research with others, and very often I use chunks of my three minute thesis in these conversations. Some people may think that I entered this competition because I was good at public speaking. That's absolutely not the case. English is not my first language, and even after four years of study in the UK, I was still feared to talk to native speakers. Because I was concerned that they must be judging every single word coming out of my mouth, whether the grammar or pronunciation is correct. I was also shy when talking to strangers. At networking events, I never introduced myself, but always waited to be introduced. Because of my three minute thesis experience, I've got several opportunities to give public speakings, to give talks to big audiences, like the Senate meeting, postgraduate inductions, the IAD forum, uh, the Scream retreat, and including this event. Because of these experiences, they have made me less and less nervous about public speaking and become more confident. My view about communication has also changed. I start to introduce myself and got to know so many people. I start to enjoy exchanging ideas and thoughts and learning from each other. I think communication is the first step towards collaboration and innovation. My 3MT experience has also brought me great opportunities. Last year, I went to Chicago to attend a, the biggest neuroscience conference annually. And for the past four months, I had been interning with the World Health Organization in Geneva. I was picked purely because my supervisor got interested in my 3MT experience in my CV, and she watched my video on YouTube. This internship has been an eye-opening experience. I now have a clearer idea about how I can combine my clinical background, my research skills, and my interest in public health, all these three together, to hopefully in the future make a contribution to improving people's health. Last but not least, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all those people who had helped me with my 3MT. My supervisor, my colleagues, my landlords and their friends. All of them had given me great suggestions and support. I would also like to say congratulations to the nine finalists on reaching today because I know exactly how much effort you have put on preparing your 3MT and I know how nervous you are at the moment. But I want to say that good luck, believe in yourself, and enjoy it. Thank you all very much.